got you to record the intro, but you was out of frame. And it ain't no take two, so y'all just can watch that other one. But this is the puff I was talking about. But I'm not redoing my intro because that one was just live. Like, I, it's no redoing. You just wouldn't get that a second time. So, here's that intro. Check it out. <laughs> Thanks for watching. But I know it's raining outside, but I have to film a video. I don't care that it's raining outside. My video, it must go up today. <laughs> This rain is ruining my hair. Ooh, girl, where? I said away are over there. Ignore my curls. Ooh, girl. <laughs> hey, y'all, this is Bella Destiny, and in this video, I'm gonna show you all how I do my brows, how I do my sister's brows, how to do thick brows, if you got thick brows, thick. If you have thick brows, if your brows slim thick, because it's a, hey. <laughs> Sorry, that one threw me off. Pretty much how to do your brows, how I wax them, trim them, squeeze them, fleek them. Eyebrows on fleek, hashtag eyebrows on fleek. Let me take this off. I don't like this with my outfit right now. I'm just wearing it because it's raining outside. And if you like my nails, because I'm out up close and personal in the camera so you can see these nails and you just see them popping. Because they popping, show stopping. This camera better be focused. Hocus pocus. I'm just kidding. Yeah, it's all about my brows. And if you do like my nails, then that video was posted before this one. Excuse my hair. This is compliments of the weather. But if you want to see what it looked like before the weather happened, I do have a curly puff, quick, however you want to call it, hairstyle. So make sure you check that out as well. Okay, so for those of you who already have full and thick brows and you just want to kind of neaten up what you already have without doing too much extra filling in and a lot of extra waxing and tweezing, then this part is for you. So stay tuned. Okay, this is just before footage of her brow. <laughs> you can see my eyes. It's pretty smooth in the middle, so I probably won't mess with it. But you can see we just need to take off some here at the top. And then just a little bit in the arch there. Okay, so I start off just by sizing the wax strip to her brow. And um, I pretty much cut it out into the shape, kind of to resemble what the brow looks like and then warm the wax between my hands and I put it onto the uh, just on the brow where you want to remove hair I didn't get that close within her arch because we're not trying to thin out her brows we're just trying to clean them up and tidy up all of the excess hair that's kind of growing you can see how much we cleaned up within the arch then I just proceed to brushing them out and I do the same thing along the top she didn't really have any hair in the middle so I didn't have to do that as far as trimming your brows you really want to be careful because you don't want to cut off too much um, this was really maybe my second time really cutting within brows, period, whether mine or my sister's or whoever, because uh, I really don't do that much. You can just really brush them into place. Plus, it helps with keeping them looking more filled in and full when you kind of have all of the hair there anyway. But when your hair is really, if you look on the right there, you can see where it's really kind of excessively growing out further beyond what you want the shape to be. That's really the only purpose for trimming and cutting within the brow. But you do not have to do this. You can get like a brow gel and just brush them out to hold them oh in place. Goodness. But if your hair on your brow does grow in really curly the way my sister's does, it kind of helps uh, with making everything to just lay a little bit more. It just really depends on preference. And as far as filling them in with concealer and things like that, you can do that if you like. My younger sister, she does not do that uh, since hers are already full and thick. I really wouldn't either if mine was as thick as hers, but they're not, so I do a little different with you. I will see later in the video for those of you who don't have as thick brows as what you see here. But if you do, then you can see that y'all don't have to do that much. Like, you shape them up, do a little concealer if you like, and voila, you'll be done. <laughs> um, and as far as waxing, if you do want to fill them in, maybe wait a few hours before you put that concealer on your brows because your pores are open from you snatching the hair out of your skin. So just for, you know, safety reasons, kind of clean them up and wait a while if you can and that's pretty much it for my sister's brows moving right along to my own brows because when I uploaded my brow routine some of you all did ask to see how I do them so this is what my brows look like already filled in uh, if you can kind of look close maybe you can or cannot see the hair above and below my brow that needs to be removed but I find that when my brows are filled in I can see perfectly what pieces of hair I would want to tweeze out so if you would want to fill your brows in and then tweeze it out that works perfectly also, but for the purpose of the video, I want to show you all what my brows look like without all of this stuff on them. So I did go ahead and wipe that off. But like I said, you can, it's perfectly fine to tweeze your brows while they're already filled in. Because once they're filled in, you can see where you wouldn't want the hair to be. So I wipe off my makeup um, and I just apply some powder to help with not pulling off any skin. And it kind of makes it less painful also. 
um, and you don't want any oil to dissolve the wax so that's really why I use the baby powder to make sure it's not any oil on my forehead because I do have kind of oily skin so I do the same thing using the family dollar wax strips I just cut them uh, just so because they come in such a square shape and I cut them to kind of make sure that it's you know matched up with the shape that I'm going for I'm not digging into the shape of my brow but I'm cleaning up just only on the top and the bottom like I'm not trying to thin out my brows as you can see because they are already kind of <laughs> thin as it is but that's really the way my brows grow in like you can look at the hair on your head and compare that to all of the rest of the hair on your body because my sister has 4C like really thick tough kind of natural hair if she was to let it grow out natural that's the reason she has full brows as well and you all can look at the hair on my head when you're watching my videos and you can see that you know I don't have a really really thick texture so I can't expect my brows to grow in full and thick like that either and so I just do the same thing if you want to kind of tidy up in the middle as well just because you're doing your brows it just makes everything look a little more put together especially if you're doing your brows every day and everything like this so um, I just put that on and I pull in a downward direction since that's the way the hair is growing. Now, as far as if you want to do your brows while they're filled in, you can do this with the white, pencil, brown, black, whatever the case may be. It's just really for outlining and then you can kind of clean up whatever is on the uh, outside portion of your brows. And I do this part for the tail of my brow because since it's sparse on the end, I like to go ahead and I define that shape so that I make sure I'm not taking off anything that I would still want to be there. But as far as the very beginning of my brow, it was, you know, I could pretty much clearly see what hair I would want to take off. That's why I went ahead and filled them back in after. Um, but as far as the tail, like I said, it's kind of sparse. And so I only want to clean up just the part that I would not want to be there. Then I go in in my arch and I'm not creating any kind of arch I'm just tidying up what's already there and by having that outline you can kind of see what you want there and what you do not want there as far as the front I don't really do too much to that because I don't want to you know tweeze too much on one side and not too much on the other side and then just be all jacked up so using the wax strips before you do the tweezing it just helps you to kind of not have to pull so much hair I like to get the bulk of it with the wax strip then I get the remainder with just my tweezers and then only in the front of my brow, I don't tweeze throughout all of my own brows because they're not full enough for that. I just kind of tidy up in the front just for the purpose of when I fill them in. It's not any hairs that's like standing up really, really long and strong on the outside. So this is what the wax strips look like. You can look really close and see the ones that are brown was just still makeup that I had left over on my face. But you can look close and see that it did remove a lot of hair despite what it looked like when they were filled in because the concealer does help but after a while you do just have to go ahead and clean them up and when you saw me using that wax you can't really just remove the wax with water or like a makeup um, wipe because only oil dissolves wax water and soap does not dissolve wax but that's that's a whole other thing that's like the chemistry side of it so the following day I go ahead and I just complete my brows I don't put the concealer and makeup and everything on the same day because like I said your pores are still open right after you snatch their hair out of your skin and I do have a like full brow tutorial if you all want to check that out and that just makes the brows look a little more put together and you can see now after you were to fill your brows in if you see any you know pieces that you might have missed and extra hairs that you would want to clean up then you can do that as well um, and that's pretty much how I do my brows. It's kind of different every time. I like to set them with powder just to help with the shine. I'm not a professional at any of this, but for those of you that always like to ask and see what I do, then I like to share that with you all. So if you want to just tidy up a little bit more on your face, then you can do your upper lip. Um, just make sure you remove the makeup and everything like that. Excuse that ugly pimple. I don't know where it came from, but I just do each side individually. It kind of does hurt, but I find sometimes that when I'm putting on makeup, it does kind of show so I'm like girl let me clean this up and if you don't want to wax it just get those little uh you know those little small razors that you could use for your brows you could use it with that as well and just clean it up wipe it up with some oil and you're pretty much done any kind of wax strips wherever you see them sometimes I get them at the Dollar Tree when I see them there you can use V wax strips um, GG wax strips whatever wax strips like just wherever and shape and cut and however you want to do it if you want to get it with a popsicle stick and put it on there and take that off too like I do all different kinds but this was just the wax that I had this time I got it from Family Dollar it was about four dollars with tax and everything like that really inexpensive and it's just 
another at home video like keep it flicky by yourself that way you can keep the money and spend it on something else like uh, thank you all so much for watching if you have any questions or comments be sure to leave them all down below yeah follow me on instagram and twitter when i'm not here on youtube be sure to tweet me pictures i would love to see and also make sure that you get subscribed and turn on that notification so that you'll know when my new videos go up and you'll be the first one to see it and that's pretty much it and i'll talk to you on the next video also comment down below and tell me what you use to do your eyebrows what concealer you love, do you wax them, you tweeze them, you don't do anything to them because you feel like that should be how they look because God gave you those gorgeous eyebrows. We just fleeking them out, okay? Thank you, Jesus. I'll talk to you on the next video, and I thank y'all so much for watching.